Yo. Welcome. Battery. Hi there. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday. It's about 6.20 a.m. Um, I've been doing warm compresses on my eye for not a continuous hour, like on and off, on five minutes, off 15, on five, off 15, for a minute now. And I can't really tell if she's getting better which is impeding on um, my plans for the day because I would have been on the road by now naturally, but um, I, don't, I don't know if like me focusing so long is causing this or if it's the exposure to sunlight. Maybe I don't have good enough sunglasses. I don't have any tint in my windows so that's that but like I don't I don't know if going about my day will make it worse so I'm trying to get it to a little bit better and then maybe I can start driving this afternoon but this is what I'm dealing with and yeah um I'm actually really excited I was hoping I could get it uploaded yesterday but this was a lot worse yesterday so i ended up focusing a lot more of my time on my eye so i didn't um get to where i wanted to get to with editing but i'll just upload both of these videos today and um i'm really excited because i i just i could keep watching this conversation one over and over but i don't need to do that <laughs> um let's see let's see let's see let's see I'm also supposed to work out with Brittany today. And we were talking about like going to the gym. And if that's the case, then I feel like I need to give me an eye patch <laughs> or something because this, this doesn't, mm, not only how it looks like I'm gonna be sweating and like I already touch my face a lot as it is. So I don't want it to be prone to more bacteria. Mm. I don't know what to do. Like, that hurts. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. And it's too swollen for me to lift. Like, and I don't mean lift like drive like it's too swollen for me to physically lift to see the um, inside of the eyelid but that's Ebony's life these past couple days a sty working through the sty <laughs> mm. I did like four hours on the road yesterday. I don't know if maybe that made it worse or better, but yeah. Oh, wait. Excuse me. <laughs> let me let me focus. I'm gonna reheat this towel, and yeah. And I I heat up. Well, I dampen and heat up a wash rag. And then I've got this microfiber cloth that I wrap the steaming rag in. And then I don't necessarily put it directly up against me. Like when it's first like hot, hot, I just put it there, leave a little space, but like around my eye socket, there's compression. And then as it gets more comfortable to touch my actual lid, then I go ahead and compress a little bit more but I would really 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 love for this to be gone by the time I wake up Wednesday <laughs> and I don't think it's too much to ask because 
this one wasn't this deep. Like she kept showing up, but it wasn't like my whole eyelid swollen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just catch when I catch. Um, <laughs> one, I'm tired of seeing this shirt, but two, it is Tuesday, okay? It is, well, I'm sorry. It's Wednesday. It's 12.22. Um, I hit two driving shifts today. I had a virtual doctor's appointment, got some prescribed some eye drops, Liddy, and honestly, like, I definitely feel improvement, and I only use two drops of this, like, as soon as I got it. But, thing is, I didn't look at the dosage directions before I trashed the bag. Like, I scooped it in the car before I started my next round of lift, and I, like, collected all my trash at once and got rid of it all at once. So, yeah, I did not do what Ebony was supposed to do. So, um, I'm going to see if I can call the Walgreens I picked it up from and maybe they can read off the instructions to me because I'm really not trying to <laughs> redo the doctor thing. But since I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to assume that I put it one to two drops in each eye flutter flutter and um i'll just go to sleep on that and um i'll try and do like a once every 12 hours type thing that shouldn't be too bad not a good bit in here but I've never put eye drops in. <laughs> oh my goodness. I shouldn't say I've never put eye drops in, but people usually do it for me. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. So, I've noticed that with the right eye, I missed. <laughs> I think that took, I got it on the third try. <laughs> oh, and the computer's so bright. Oh my gosh. Well guys, good night. All right. <laughs> All right, so what's it? It's Wednesday morning, about 11-ish. Um, I'm just getting back in the house. I got me a salad from CFA, finna smash. I can open my eyelids. I still notice you're here, but at least I got like my full range of vision. Um, be it the eye drops, the aloe, or the warm compress, or just time in general. Thank you for starting to heal because, like, <laughs> I've had a style lance before, and I just really did not want to have to do that. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, so I just got home. So, um, this past month, I have really been going hard. Like, I've really been putting in work. So, a few days ago, I purchased a cart and I got myself a gift, which were all shoes. So, we're about to try those on. And, um, my apartment is still very much atrocious. So, if you see some, just. Don't say nothing, okay? All right, that's good. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm gonna save these for last because I don't need them. Let's look for you. Y'all, like my my heels 
have been lacking in the shoe collection. Now I will say, I thought these were gonna be a little different. I knew it had these on it, but I thought the, I'll show you when I get up there. <laughs> okay. So I was under the impression that the sparkle, let's see if I can block it out. I was under the impression that the sparkle pattern would be this throughout the whole thing. However, when you get to the front, it kind of uniforms out and then it spaces out again. But, <gasps> ooh, she might be a situation. Let's see. Oh, everything's so junky. I'll do it a little later. But, I'm super excited. I'm really still stuck on the sequins, but keeping it a thousand, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say they look, um, like they're not actually embedded in the plastic and that I could do a little something something. But um, they still have that previous mark of where the adhesive was and all that. Then I wouldn't even want the shoes. So let that go. I'm so excited. I'm getting variety in my shoes. Uh. I got one more pair I need to get to to show it to you. But the other, the pair that I gotta bring in here, I kinda don't like, so I told myself that she'll be going back. But, oh, and this is so different. This is so different. Okay. Clear ones are much more comfortable, but here she is. <laughs> um, these feel a little slippery as I was walking. Felt real slippery, and um, the first pair I didn't feel that at all. Um, I'll go ahead and show these. So, um, these shoes. I got because of the heel like I like the design but I was really in love with the heel and then when I put the shoes on me I wasn't really feeling it but let's see let us see she would open it. let's see these are looking kind of snake print I guess the last one was alligator print. It could also be like that my feet aren't done. I don't know, stop being blurry. But I just 
twisted it up some more and it's it's bearable it's something I can do for sure all right all right three for three and I'm not sure what brand these last ones are I mean those last ones that have situation is I need to clean up this house and I need to go to sleep 
and that's just something I can't do two on one. Let's see, what time did I wake up? I've really been napping for like three, four hours, driving for like five, six hours, napping, driving, napping, driving. And uh, I feel okay, but I definitely feel like I've destroyed whatever balance I had, if any. Sorry. Put these shoes up. Okay. Um. Uh, now this, I would actually like to just disperse of. Let's see. This is food we need to eat. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know you taste this a little bit, mmm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen, better yet with your friends and them, I really wanna know you all, I really want to show you off, fuck that, pour up plenty of champagne, cold nights when you curse this name, you called up your girlfriends and y'all called in that little bitty range, I heard that, she wanna go and party, she wanna go and party, nigga don't approach up with that Atari, nigga that a good game homie, sorry, they say conversation, rule a nation, I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs, lest I write it down for real. With all these seductive photographs and all these one-off vacations you've been taking Clearly a lot for me to take in, it don't make sense Young East African girl, you too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game, put you on a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland, I could do it So I was trying to find a way to record me deep cleaning the stove But I really feel like I need two cameras for me to do it how I want to do it But I'm getting ready to do this bad boy up So she's sparkling okay these are the i don't know what their official name is but the protectors that go around the eye um i'm gonna let them soak for a little bit That's good. i'm gonna let them soak and then i'll clean that out and then i'm using hey mama hey. how are you doing do it Maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice You were so new to this life, but goddamn you got adjusted I mean, I write poems in these songs Dedicated to the fun sex Your natural head, your soft skin, and your big ass And that sundress, ooh Good God, what you doing that walk for? When I see that they move, I just wish we would fight less and we would talk more. They say communication, save relations, I can tell. But I can never write my wrongs unless I write them down for real. P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know just, know just, know just, know just, know just, know just what you want. Poetic justice, put it in a song, all right. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know just 
know just, know just, know just, know just what you want. Oh, and it just this way. Put it in the song. All right. Every time I write these words, they become a taboo. Making sure my punctuation curve, heavy letter hits true. Living my life in the margin, and that metaphor was proof. I'm talking poetic justice, poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, you need to hear this. Love is not just a verb, it's you looking in the mirror. Love is not just a verb, it's you looking for it, maybe. Call me crazy, we can both be insane. A fatal attraction is common. What we have common is pain, I mean you need to hear this Love is not just a verb and I can see power steering Sex drive when you swerve, I want that interference It's coherent, I can hear it mm -hmm. That's your heartbeat, it either caught me or it caught me mm -hmm. Read slow and you'll find gold mines in these lines Sincerely, you're surely, and right before you go blind P.S. Yo, oh my God, okay. So, it's Thursday evening. It's like 8.30 something, yo. I did what I was supposed to do today. It was a nice normal day. I think I left the house around 5.40, 5.50. Got my day started, was making good money. And then um, I decided around, around 12, I was like, all right, I'm pretty much done. Cause I was trying to hit a certain number so I can get the street bonus. And I was like, I'm one. It's either this ride is gonna give me the bonus or the next ride is gonna give me the bonus. So I picked up the next ride, right? And I turned my thing off so um, it knew that this was gonna be my last ride that I took. And when I tell you like we are three fourths, maybe even four fifths of the way there. And we're on the interstate and I see brake lights in front of me. What do brake lights mean? Stop, okay? They mean stop. So, I'm stopping. I am. So, yo, this is traumatic, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so, I see the car in front of me stopping and like, not, not slowing down, but like stopping, stopping, okay? So I put on my brakes and we're slowing down and then I see the car in front of that car kinda do a thing where they swerve off, meaning, they didn't have enough space to actually stop or else they would have hit the car. What does that tell me? That tells me this car doesn't have as much space as I think they have and I don't have as much space as I think I have. So I peep that and I put on the brakes even harder. All right, mind you, I have two passengers in the car right now. Now I'm, I'm talking as I'm doing, I'm like, sorry guys, sorry. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then the car in front of me legit stop stops like complete stop so i had to match that too right so i stop stop i said are y'all okay and then we looked in the rear view mirror and it oh my gosh and it was um it was a construction truck like a a pickup truck a white pickup truck had like all the extra stuff on the tail bed had the little holsters on top of it for like wood or pipes or whatever. 
and you no, know, you know, by the grace of my Lord and Savior, it wasn't enough to make me hit the car in front of me. So, where was I at? So then, I, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, is everyone alive? <laughs> Is everybody alive? So I'm looking back at them. I'm like, are you all okay? And like, bro is spazzing out because his girl is pregnant. I'm like, you're pregnant? Oh my God. I'm like, what? What? So, um, that happened. I'll say the acts, the actual is so hot. I've been in these clothes all day. Do you know that it was. 70 degrees at 9 a.m. Started it, started at 40 something, okay, at five, and it got to 70 by 9 a.m. So, from 9 a.m. till like, from 9 a.m. to like 12, oh no, I was still out there in the sun. Well, since 9 a.m., I've been in the blazing hot sun, in this hot sweater, in these hot pants, with these hot elite socks, okay? Hot, 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 I'm hot. Matter of fact, because I'm heating back up telling this story. Oh my God. Okay. So, we pull over to the shoulder, cops come, information, all that. Gosh. Now, the, the, the riders have their stuff in my trunk. Like, we were on the way to a laundromat. They have their stuff in my trunk. So, they ended up deciding not to ride with the ambulance. And my dad already told me I needed to go to the emergency room. So I was like, shoot, I'm going. We already here. Let's let's just ride. So that's what happened. We came to the emergency room, bro. We got to the emergency room. At least at like one one thirty. The accident happened between twelve forty and twelve forty five. It took, I'll say 30-ish minutes for the report and stuff to happen. So maybe we pulled up to the hospital at like 140 or something like that. Let me be accurate. We might have got there at 140. I, Ebony Allen, did not get called back to that room. Oh my gosh until 5.45, four whole hours later. Now, mind you, they came and got the girl first. Makes sense, she's pregnant, other things going on. She needs to be taken care of, baby needs to be checked on. All right, they came and got bro like 45 minutes later. Okay, all right, I feel like I kinda got the pace of things. I'm sitting here like my phone is starting to die. My chapstick is in the car. Like, can, can we speed up this process? And honestly, I didn't think about it till both of them were in the room and I was still in the waiting room. Why did I come to Grady? I could have looked up any hospital and just gone to the emergency room. Why did I come to Grady? All right, so all that. I get called back at 7.45, sorry, 5.45, and I got out of there at 7.11. And I can tell you right now, 40 of those minutes, I was sitting on the little thing with the little curtain closed in front of me. After the doctor had come and looked at me, and when I told her I didn't want the shot she was recommending, she was just like, okay, well, I'll go get the pills ready. And she didn't say nothing else, and I didn't see her again. And so, I 
got tired of waiting. So I opened up my curtain and I just made it really uncomfortable for the nurses who were in front of me. I don't know if it was that uncomfortable, but, but I made sure that they knew that I saw them and that I needed help and that I needed something. So one lady walked past and I was like, I'm sorry, can you please tell me what I'm waiting on? And she was like, um, I don't know for sure, but the nurses in this section can help you. I'm like, okay, cool. She passed the nurse and the nurse told me, can you please tell me? Yep. And the nurse got the pill and water in her hand. Oh, for real? Thought I was tripping. And like, I seen you this whole time. It's okay to say you forgot, but like, what if I didn't open the curtain? What, I'll, I'll still be in there, just chilling, waiting on my one pill. <laughs> I'm, I'm agitated, I'm agitated. It's been a long day, obviously, but like, oh my gosh, that experience. That experience was terrible. <sighs> and I didn't even peep till like, they called me back in the hospital that I haven't eaten. I have not eaten in like two days. Now I had snacks. That's not food. Oh, and this made me mad. Okay, I went to the car to get my um freaking chopstick. Why did my almonds melt? They're stick. Yo, this chocolate is solid now. Like, that's a problem. I can't eat this. You know how, do you know how pissed I was? After waiting in the hospital for two and a half hours to go out to my car, which had a parking violation ticket. Thank God it was only $35. But I go back out to my car and the thing I want to eat isn't, it, I can't work with this. I can't. After I've been waiting two, two and a half hours, after I got rear-ended on my last drive, after I already made the money I needed to make, oh, oh, then came to find out I completed the street before I picked them up. Could've went home. Could've been great. But no, now you gotta get freaking massages and whatnot. Which, nothing against, but doggone. Like, I just, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I've been wanting to work out. And I guess I still can. I still. The worst is gonna be tomorrow. I feel like I get this stupid thing. <laughs> I'm so upset. I was really supposed to be home six hours ago. But, um, I'm going to attempt to eat this salad that I bought. Today's Thursday. Did I buy this Tuesday? I thought I bought it Wednesday, but I might have bought it Tuesday. Nonetheless, I'm gonna try and eat this. Um, but if that fails, I got me a large fruit cup. So, um, I'm about to unwind and relax for the night. Like, I got nothing else in me. I'm really tight, cause my car, cause my freaking trunk. Like, I do airport trips. And then, um, and then on my way home, my trunk kept like popping open on its own. So, and I, I finally got it closed, closed. But I don't wanna have to do that, like, with riders. Like, hey, how are you doing today? Ah, awesome. <gasps> I'm not doing that in my trunk. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not doing that in front of guests. I'm not doing it in my trunk. And and then who's to say I won't end up further messing up the trunk, trying to do too much. And Lyft offers a thing where you can um, rent a car and do it on a weekly basis or something like that. But I've seen the money come straight to me. And yeah, yeah it'll be a nice little temporary thing, whatever. No. <laughs> No, I'll spend I'll spend this time editing and catching up the other things that I was like holding off because I had planned to drive, but absolutely not. Mm -mm. And you know, the timing for this, there's a better time would be never, but the timing for this isn't awful. Um, I just got, I filed my taxes at least two weeks ago, whatever week Valentine's Day was, I filed my taxes then. So my refund check should be coming before it's time for me to pay rent again. Just paid this rent. So we're good all through March. Should I need to depend on the refund check? I'm fairly confident that it'll come before April, but I also pray that the repair for my car doesn't take that long. Dang, it's Thursday too. Y'all, I had plans. I was supposed to buy a plane ticket to Texas. I was supposed to buy a wig. It's a lot. And, oh my gosh. I had that, I had my taxes earmarked for something else. You know what, if this, if this only hindered, why is it so far? Oh my gosh. Oh. It's hot cause I still had my thing on heat from when it was cold. Uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Is that the air conditioner? I need my style to get better. And she is getting better. I just need her, like, gone. Please and thanks. But I'm going to shower and get this day off of me. <laughs> Uh, hey y'all, um, what's the day? It's Friday. Um, I'm with my buddy back there listening to Justin McCartney. <laughs> I know beautiful souls when I hear it. I'm on the phone with Kamaria, but I'm about to go to dinner. Um, I am upset that this isn't back to normal, but I feel like I just look too good not to check in, so. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat. And, uh, I guess we can talk more when I get back. Oh, all right, so we are back. Um, let's see. I really didn't do anything today, just kind of relaxed, gave my body a break, and, um, I just met up with my friend at dinner, which was delicious, and we had great conversations, so you know that's just, that's amazing both ways, and you know, I got to get out the house for a little bit, make a little something of myself, I dressed decently, so a little self-esteem boost, because like, my eye has really been killing me, like, destroying me, so um, I'm really happy I got to do that and I got leftovers. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before I left, but I haven't had like a legit meal up until that one in like three days. It's been almonds and Pringles while I was driving and I've like bought food to eat, but then when I sit down, I'm not hungry. Probably cause like I've gone so much of the day accustomed to not eating, but yeah, so 
that's how tonight went, which was great. Um, let's see, tomorrow, because today I was slick supposed to go to urgent care to get checked up on again. But um, if I can, I'm going to see if I can do it tomorrow morning. Hopefully it won't be too busy. But just to get some more information, um, hopefully this stuff can get uh, moving as soon as possible because my car is my income, you know? So, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> Nothing else has happened aside from going out to eat. So, when in doubt, edit. <laughs> Damn. What's up, y'all? It's Sunday. Sorry, let me turn it down some more. But, um, it's Sunday, and I've really been in bed. Ugh, do not like that sound. Actually, let me get out this complex. My hands are so ashy. But anyways, um, it's Sunday. I was in the house all Saturday. And I'm about to meet up with my cousins at the park. And, you know, get some vitamin D, clearly. And, um... Just be as great as we can be, but first I'm gonna swing by Publix, get my snacks. I just left um, the bank, so no, I'm finished. Dog, I didn't bring a blanket either. Oh my gosh, Ebony. But it is what it is. Ooh, ooh. Which way am I supposed to be going? Which way am I supposed to be going? Okay. I hate when I do that. Because I hate when other people do that. <laughs> oh, wow. But I definitely need to hit up a chiropractor. Because I don't feel the greatest. <laughs> and like... Can I figure out a position with this camera that'll work? Because I don't like how close y'all are to my face. I'm not even gonna hold you. Okay. Um, I'm sure that this angle is better, but I can't have my screen up, so I'm blind. But yeah, my back and my body is for sure stiffening up so um i'm gonna see if i can do a couple stretches while i'm out in the sun today and since i got a lot more time at home on the rise or off the road to be more specific i walk i completed a good bit of my um real estate course yesterday and um, a couple of videos the day before, but sorry. But um, yeah, real estate videos. I'm I feel like almost done editing the vlog, which oh, I'm a couple weeks. what it is. I'm catching up. I'm getting ahead. Uh, I had felt like I had just established a financial routine that was really working and it's not gone. You know, just a temporary pause. But also I'm going to find a way to use this pause efficiently instead of what do you call it? Moping over the fact that you know, this is the situation I'm in. So Real estate yoga. <laughs> what else? Real estate yoga. What else? Maybe I could focus in on like art projects. 
projects too. But art projects cost money. And since I'm not gonna be making money, I don't need to do things that are gonna cost money. Real estate course, I already paid for that. Ah, the extreme execution course, I can focus in on that too. Okay. All right, so I got some things figured out. And I'll just, I was supposed to give me a burger too. But that's how the NBA is built on Dynasty. Like Since we're here on the road, super duper pet peeve, okay? There are two turning lanes. If y'all decide that y'all want to wait on the one full turning lane, okay. I saw that it was full though, and I decided that I wanted to go to the one that wasn't as full. Do not. Spin your tires once you see me coming past you. You've already come to a complete stop. Alright? My philosophy, like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And don't look at me crazy when I still get in front of you. Because... <laughs> what? It's wild. Right? And so while I may not have played chess as a board game, I play it in life. So I just want to challenge those of you out there, and I want you to know like that we can't control a lot of stuff, but you can control your moves. Right? You can control your moves. So I want you to do me a favor. I don't want you to think about the, the, the hand that life has dealt you. I don't want you to think of I will make my moves. But people on their phone driving and driving slow because you're on your phone. Oh my gosh. Hurry up. I was about to say, that is not Epi. But, so, um, I got myself some polarized glasses after this baby popped off. And my eyes do feel a lot better on the road. That's a great thing but they're not really my style. So I'm still keeping my eye out for some glasses that fit my criteria. Maybe the I do like these. And the chameleon. And you can Why would probably I? take a guess. Okay. This person blocked the intersection and three people need to turn left. Like, I, I promise y'all I'm gonna do a driving tutorial cause because I don't know if people just be unconscious about it or if they just don't know. And if you don't know, you need to learn. If you're just unconscious about it, stop being rude. But let me just pop that when something's actually going on. Okay, so the park is packed it's packed so um we got where's my stuff we're parked at trader joe's and we're gonna walk that's exactly what's gonna happen okay but i'm also waiting on candy i don't know where she is and there's a spot opening up right in front of me actually that'd be great for us but it's hot it's hot it's crazy i'm watching this lady she's looking for a spot and she actually drove by the car that just pulled out after the driver had just got into it I was like, sis, slow down. That's why we need men to hold our things. 
Glasses. Oh. I meant to switch my glasses. You switch your glasses? Yeah, but I got them there in my bag. Ooh, ain't nothing but a thing. I like your romper. Okay. Can I show you to the vlog? Huh? Can I show you to the vlog? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the nighttime is catching up with us. Ain't it? I don't know. Okay. I should have left these in the car. I think if we. If I'm not mistaken, last time I remember we had parked this way. We had to take this little loop de loop back here. Look de loop and score. And your shoes are looking good. <laughs> there come my baby. She look wrecked up and clean. Alright, babe. That's not, not what me. I meant. The other one. The one you you backed up? Yeah. Oh, so I can't see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why the car was sorry? <laughs> the car was sorry in the same condition. Oh yeah. my god, you like no that's okay. For this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah, I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack. Yeah, I know your dog is purple, got the sun in your name. Ain't going like a circle. Wow, 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 I'm not gonna be better. It's starting to move slow. Whatever you want to put in it, you can put in it. <laughs> but just so you're comfortable. <laughs> 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 Okay, alright, that's fine. Think we got too sexy for that metro housing. Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000. Section need more things that, yeah, yeah. I ain't too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I ain't too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap. On the bitch, you don't know why I went. Pay for all my dogs, all my niggas behind the fence. Trippin' in and out, spillin' in a new designer girl by a coaster. Pay attention to the detail, going two tone on choker. Young niggas always ready to murk, some call them some smokers. Young niggas had a motion, you don't make sure the car get it. Hit a 360, windmill, when I never proceed. That's that action, her best work on her knees. Too sexy for this cash, too sexy for this syrup, too sexy for these pills, I'm too sexy for this heat. I get cash wherever I fly, got Wish you could fuck on me, love on, love on me, I'll take your money home, I bet you Bitches sexing on me, money cars, now the jury make a bit look sexy I get cash wherever I fly, got bitches sexing on me, yeah
say we switch. The green gators, they look like a switch. Georgia, yo, I spent 26 weeks. Um, too sexy, my neck, but get it. Merlis me, caress me, I'll let you to the I been kicking shit, my knee to cross the I needed the authenticity. To oh, my life, that link flow through my eyes. <laughs> If y'all don't want to do it, I understand that you're okay, but if any one of y'all want to do it, you can do it. I don't normally like to be on camera, but I feel good right now. I feel good. I want to do that type of life. Yeah, let me record from over there. I think that me being me and the type of personality I have, I like to I like to help people form connections, i.e. setting up a day in the park situation with a whole bunch of random friends that I have that don't always know each other. Yeah. But you know, we get together, we get to know each other, we have fun. We make Is that what y'all did today? That's so only y'all didn't know each other at first? No. I know. All right, y'all, I'm cricket. <laughs> but I am home. Um, I'm so tight that my camera died mid-interview. Um, that was a nice little interview, surprising. Wasn't sure where it was gonna go, but um, Maya killed it. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I asked my cousin to send me the full recording. Um, so we'll see if I can put some of the rest of it up. But yeah, I'm back home. Now that I got my snacks back. Um, I'm going to continue with editing. I've already gotten pretty far. Um, upstairs has been making a lot of noise lately. But um, I'm gonna hop back on editing since I've been having a lot of progress getting pretty far um and i don't want to fall out of that wave so um yeah and so um thank you guys for watching thanks for sticking with me even though i've been a little inconsistent but i really appreciate it uh like comment and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you next week